It's time now for Mountain Music, being brought to you by the Mountain Arts Center, the main stage of the Country Music Highway. Family can be an early musical influence, even if they don't play or sing. One memory that always comes to me is uh, back in the world of cassette, in the land of cassette tapes, my brother had a, a Judas Priest, and uh, this is not the style of music that I play now, obviously, but a Judas Priest on one side and a Metallica on the other, and I remember kind of taking that from his possession and, and laying ownership to it, and I don't think I ever told him that I had it. But I remember my uncle um, driving us around in a Jeep that he had, and he had a, a John Cougar Mellencamp cassette and a Bruce Springsteen cassette. Tops off Country Roads, and I remember those two albums really changing. That made me kind of say, I, I want to do this. Like, I want to do this. I, you know, at that point, I didn't know what a living was, but I think I wanted to do it for a long time. And don't cry for me Lest you be the one to offer Sometimes reaching rock bottom is the solid foundation to build not only a great song, but a great album. The album's called Bury Who We Are, and it was written in rehab. I am um, convinced uh, the facility that I was in to allow me to have this very guitar. And I skipped lunches and skipped uh, breaks to write. The song that we played is called I Will Rise, and I felt like that was a good bookend to the end of it. It's, um, it's basically, uh, just saying, uh, live your life and do it as good as you can. Be the best you that you can be, because one day we're all gonna rise. It wasn't intended to have any sort of meaning behind it other than positivity and just keep it up. Whatever you're doing, as long as it's positive and, it's, and you lead with your heart, I've always felt like you just keep it up and everything's gonna be just great. My beard in the ground And when the last bit is let them walk away and live their lives like they always pray. Although Anthony enjoys all aspects of being an artist, he says there's nothing like playing on stage. There's a lot of satisfaction in it, you know, from all those, from being on stage to playing small venues to being on lengthy tours. Uh, it just, it keeps everything so, uh, um, like, beautifully unstable. For that hour and a half, two hours that you're on stage, you're able to really show a side of you that nobody gets to see, um, that only I get to see sometimes. And then you put it away. It goes, it goes with your guitar back into the case and, and you go, you travel again. And it's like you share just a moment. And I think that's, long story short, that's what it's about is that moment. It's the one hour and a half moment that you share.